Song one. Make a door plug to the door, all you land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence and sing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. He is and made us, and not we ourselves. All right. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gate with thank you. It is poor for praise. Yes, sir. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting. For the truth and good is our generation. Song of the Son, God's word for God's people.
this world for me. I ask now in the name of Jesus that you will hide me behind the wall. And Lord, you will be sitting in the rest of me. I ask in the name of Jesus that you will let me know my eyes and do my job. Let me be recent miracles. Oh God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you will open the hearts and minds of the people of heaven to receive your will. Father, by that thought we will let that be done. All we break the quest with us with Jesus name. Saints of God, sir. Amen. The chapter is two. Thank you, Brother Austin. If you're there, give me a hearty amen. amen. If you're still looking, just say, wait a moment. All right. I didn't hear nobody say, wait a moment. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, I will be reading from the King James Good. Thank you, sir. And again he entered and took upon him. After some days, and it was noise that he was in the house. And straightway, many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door, and he preached the word unto them. And they came 
And they come unto him. Bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven. But there was certain of the scribes sitting there reasoning in their hearts. Why does this man thus speak blasphemies who can forgive sin but God alone? And immediately when Jesus perceived it in his spirit that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, why reason ye these things in your hearts? For this is, is it easier to say to the sick of the palms, Thy sin be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and take up thy bed and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sin, he says to the sick of the palms, I say unto thee, Arise. And take up thy bed and go thy way into thy house. And immediately he arose, took up his bed, and went forth before them all. And so much that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. God's word for the saints of God, and God's word is always good. If it's the Lord's will, I want to talk briefly today from the subject. Bring your problems to the Lord. Bring your problems to the Lord. Now, I want to do this, uh, and I'm going to do this. I praise God for a new prophet. I praise God for a new prospect in return. When I call your area, if you're in the sanctuary, I want you to say praise the Lord. Is that all right? When I call your area, if there are deacons in the sanctuary, please say praise the Lord. The deacon. Let's get started back over here. When I call your area, this is going to tell me whether you are really listening to me here. Now right now, there's only one stinker in the sanctuary. When I call your area, I want you to say praise the Lord. Deacon, Pastor White and Deacon Nets, ushers, the Lord. musicians in the choir, praise the Lord. mothers, praise the Lord. earthly fathers, praise all of you, Oh, we got to do better than this. We got to do better than this. Now, 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 now. Uh, again, I praise God for new prospect. I'm going to say it again. I praise God for new prospect. And when I call your area, I want you to say, Praise the Lord. Deacon. Praise the Lord. Pastor Wife and Peter Nick. Praise the Lord. Asha. Praise the Lord. Musician and choir.
Do I make anything for them? What you can do for yourself, God ain't gonna do it. I know somebody. You've heard it say that He won't put no more on His children than they can bear. Now, I like to say He won't allow no more to come upon His children than they can bear. I, I say allow because God allowed what happened with Job. God did sin. Everything that come upon you, God may not sin. That's why I like to use the word, he allowed. Are y'all with me now? You'll be driving down the road and have an accident. That doesn't mean that God sent the accident. But God allowed the accident to happen. Are y'all with me? There are times that, like Jonah, God sent that storm right there. All right. So that's really why I like to use the word a lot. And I want to talk about this more today because some of us end up exhausting ourselves before we even come to God and ask for Him. We do all we can, humanly possible, but won't allow God to help us. Our burdens get so heavy, we get so far down, but the Lord always said in his way, if you need me, but that's it, we might find it, go take care of our Savior. Us can't do nothing but mess up. Do you understand? All right. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding, that all thy ways are not in God, and he shall. But we don't want to trust in God. A lot of us have trusted everything. We'd rather pick up the phone and call Sister Ruby. Ruby didn't wake herself up. Ron Pop didn't wake up. The Lord woke up. We do all we can to get help. We'll call the psychic. Well, let me ask you a question. If the line is so hot, why the psychic hotline get rid of COVID-19? Come on, come on. Come on, somebody. What I'm saying to you, uh, whatever you are going through, I'm going to be brief today. Whatever you are going through, and you heard it say that it may be over your head, but it's steep. Can I get a witness here? Someone said to this guy, Jesus, I'm going to take my time here, was preaching the word. Hello, somebody. Jesus was preaching the word. I'll come. There came a man that was sick. All they needed to do was get him. The Bible said he was sick of the pole. Which means he was paralyzed to some degree. Uh, however sick, uh, he was, the Bible says, it took four men to carry him on his feet. These four men carried him. There are some people that won't even open the door for a handicap person. Some people won't even open the door for a person who's gotten a little older in age. Uh, all we want to do is just have our way. Hello, somebody. Uh, people say this is not perfect. Uh, we need to realize that uh, if you don't die young, you don't have to you're going to get old one day. Can I get a witness here? Uh, he was unable to get where he needed to on his own. He needed help to see Jesus. He needed to get where Jesus was. He had heard, or they had heard that Jesus was in the house. Can I get a witness here? But they could not get in the house. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, 
They knew that if they could just get him to give. Uh, Jesus would do something to help you. Can I get a witness? Uh, I need to point out uh, that uh, we need to get our, a lot of our children to Jesus. I know that's not true. We need to get them to Jesus. Uh, right now, video games is raising our children. TV is raising our children. Yes. Facebook, y'all hear the It's raising our children. Pills are raising our children. The word of God tells the father to bring your children up in the nurture and that mission of the Lord. Right. Right. In other words, you need to get them to Jesus. I believe if you do a little research, I'm going to hold you. Uh, on all these people that are doing this shooting and killing and robbing and everything else, they're not coming to Jesus. Uh, uh, parents, you need to watch these games these children watch. Watch some video. Uh, on those videos, maybe some of you don't approve of. But most of the parents are working both of them, and when they come home, they tired. They want to keep up and go lay down and get ready to go to work the next day. But we need to make sure that we bring our children to Jesus. And I'm so glad when I called off the prayer, there was some youth that came to prayer and nobody had to bring it. Uh, can I preach to y'all right now? If you can just get to Jesus, Jesus will make a miracle in your life. Can I know? If you can just get to Jesus, whatever you need, he's able to supply. Paul said, with my God, just supply all According to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Right. Isn't that the word of God? Right. Huh? Right. But they couldn't get to it. Uh, because of the crowd. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Uh, but I believe that if you could just get to Jesus, yeah. everything will be all right. Amen. How can you make a statement like that? Because Jesus was in the house. Can I go with this here? Jesus is in this house. Is that right? Did not he say I'm not present? Is everywhere else at the same time? Jesus is in this house. Is that all right? But is there uh, an obstacle in your way? The reason why you can't get to Jesus. Uh -huh. They're separating you from your will. Sometimes uh, we let obstacles, a, a problem, get in our way That's from right. getting to Jesus. Amen. Sometimes we allow obstruction to get in our way. Sometimes uh, we allow things like it's inconvenient for me to get to church. Uh -huh. It's just a little difficult fitting church in my lifestyle. Well. We let things like folks up, everybody is doing. Why do I need to go to church every Sunday? Uh, some folks go once a month, once every six months, or three times a year. Mother oh, yeah. Christmas and Easter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did I get some help this yeah. But uh, some folks let, I'm too tired this morning to go to church. Uh -huh. Now the work's all on week long. But you need to realize that it was God that gave you strength to go to church. It was God who clothed you in your right mind. Yeah. It was God uh, who gave you the activity of your life. Yeah. It was God uh, who gave you that automobile to drive. Yeah. It was God uh, who enabled your food to digest you. Yeah. And then for six days, uh, when the seventh day comes, you ought to want to enter yeah. into his day to yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah. And to his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. I ain't God alright. Yes, 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 yes. The Bible says, not forsaking the assembly of yourself together. All right. Is that alright? All right. All right. Ah. Boom. Get ready to get Get to Jesus. Uh -huh. I'm going to throw it for free. Being in the same room. Uh -huh. It's never enough. You must be out and touch me. Can I get some help in this house? Mm -hmm.
being in the church here. It's never enough if you just sit there and never say, praise the Lord. Well, well. Uh, I'm so glad that everybody said something today. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes uh, we allow our attitudes or else, uh, to separate us uh -huh. Can I get a little witness here? Amen. All right. Sometimes we show up at church with the right attitude. All right. All right. Uh -huh. And we come by a negative brother or sister. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then uh, I have a positive attitude that's missing something to begin to wither down. Yeah. Yeah. And God, all right. Uh -huh. But we came uh, with a need. Uh, and because the loud, our attitude uh, to get in the way, we left uh, church with the same yeah. need. Uh, and God, all right, uh, maybe uh, our attitude was okay. Uh, one might have said, uh, when we arrived, uh, something happened uh, after we got to church. Uh, they kept us uh, from touching Jesus. Uh, and God, all right, uh, someone uh, didn't shake my hand, uh, so that me, oh God, uh, I'll keep it mean uh, from reaching Jesus. Uh, it's not uh, the right temperature uh, uh, in this church. Uh, the choir, uh, the chairs, rather, uh, is too uncomfortable. Uh, and God, all right, uh, I've been sitting on uh, this old pew uh, for more than 31 years. Uh, and uh, it needs some more cushion in it. Uh, I can stay at home uh, and sit on my sofa. Uh, and God, all right, uh, we allow our attitudes uh, to stop us uh, from reaching Jesus. Uh, and God, all right, uh, all on. Uh, I don't like uh, the color of the color of the carpet. Uh, and God, all right, uh, it's been burgeoning uh, for a long time. Uh, why don't they uh, change the color? Uh, and God, all right, uh, I don't like uh, the way some so and so uh, looked at me. Uh, and God, all right, uh, you didn't come to church, uh, but you look at sister so and so. Uh, you came to church, uh, but look at the man of Jesus. Uh, and God, all right, uh, well. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, I won't take that. Uh, uh, keep us too long. Uh, and God, all right. Uh, well, uh, it may not uh, have been a particular person. Uh, but when you uh, uh, see something uh, uh, that becomes an obstacle uh, for you getting to Jesus, uh, you need to, uh, to think more uh, about Jesus uh, uh, than about the offer. Uh, and God, all right. That God is good, uh, and everybody know He's good, uh, and He heals uh, uh, in, uh, uh, in the sanctuary. Uh, well, uh, how can uh, I keep Jesus uh, uh, in the sanctuary? Uh, number one uh, is prayer. Uh, we keep Him uh, uh, in the sanctuary. Uh, prayer. Uh, it's number one, uh, uh, Jesus said, uh, uh, this house, uh, uh, my house, uh, uh, shall uh, be called uh, uh, the house uh, uh, of prayer. Uh, uh, some folk want uh, uh, a raffle in the house, uh, they want to sell tickets in the house, uh, they want to do everything. In God's house, uh, the Lord said, uh, My house uh, uh, shall uh, be called uh, the house of prayer. Uh, and God, all right, uh, we can't make it uh, without prayer. Uh, there are times kind uh, in which we live, uh, we need to pray. Uh, Seven fourteen says, "If my people, uh, are they in uh, God's people here today? Uh, if my people, uh, which are called by my name, uh, which are the humble themselves, uh, uh, and pray uh, and seek my face uh, and turn from the wicked way, uh, uh, then will uh, uh, I hear the help uh, uh, and forgive their sins." Uh, Thank God, all right. Uh, if anybody here, uh, I'm going to pray a little while. Uh, I 